Hello, afternoon. Um, me again, doing day number three of my video blogging challenge that I set myself. Uh, today's topic is 10 things that I love, which is much better than 10 things that I hate. Um, first and foremost is, is photos of, of my friends and my family um, throughout time. I've got a couple here to show you all. Um, my first, this is this is my most loved and treasured possession, and um, I'm not even sure that I should be showing this, but this is my my baby brother Thomas, who passed away when he was three months old, and as you can see, the photo is actually really damaged um, because it's so old, and it's it's the only one that I have, and um, and I love it. This is the closest thing. This would be the first thing I'd grab if ever there was a fire or anything like that. He's He's, you know, he passed away when he was three months old, but he's always been a part of my life, and he's always been there for me, I guess. Um, another one, this is one of my favorite photos of me and my youngest brother, Jaden. When on one of his birthdays years and years ago, I his tenth birthday, so it's a while ago now. <laughs> I just love this photo. It just shows how much I am a big dorky sister and how much I love him and and all of that junk. This is me and my best friend Nikki when we were about 16 or 17 I think. At some party, you know, oh, you can't see it because of the reflection. But um, she's having a baby soon and, and this photo we're just, we look like a couple in love and, and I've always loved it. And this, this frame she engraved for me and it's got my name Hopi up the top and and I just, I just love it a lot and as much as I love her. And this is probably one of my favorite photos of all time. It's my parents holding me not long after they had me in the 80s. I love the my mum's big puffy fringe and dad's lovely sweater. It's, it's just fantastic. And then there's me with my triple chins, which I still have, which is great. My chubby little hands and little tiny little mop of red hair on the top there. And it's just, it's nice to have photos of a time where your parents were happy when you know, when when they divorce and they're not so happy anymore. Um, second thing is, is a double whammy. It's my friends and my family. Um, because most of my friends are like family to me, so I put them in the same basket. Um, they're all so important to me and I love every single one of them in really different ways. My, my friends, I'm, a lot, I'm actually a lot closer to my friends than I am my family. Um, and all of the really special ones know who they are, so there's no need to note them but you know my closest people to me and my actual family would be my auntie Jody, my mum, my baby brother and my cousin Joss and, and my daddy and um and I'm really thankful to have those people in my life but you know most of the time I carry on about how embarrassed I am of my family being the big pack of bogans that they are but they got their hearts in the right place most of the time. Uh, third thing is music. I'm pretty sure you all know how much I love music. Um, obsessed with it, consumed by it. Live, live music is the reason that I, that I, that it's why I go to work and and everything is so that I can go to a gig on the weekend or or you know during the week even and and just really, really get involved in it and and always I'm always surrounded by it and it, it's it's the best friend that I've ever had and music is one of those things that's always there for you when when you when you need it and. I like all kinds of music, mostly, <laughs> you know, but at the same time, there's a lot of music that I dislike as well, And but that's that's part of the passion, that's part of, part of music, I guess. Uh, I love rainy days when you can, when you don't have to do anything, when you can just stay in, in the house and laze around in bed or on the couch and watch movies and just hear the rain outside and you know it's even better when you've got someone to enjoy that with whether it be for cuddling or just just chilling out and eating shit food and I love it rainy days inside really good what else do I love I love broccoli I love broccoli I could eat it forever and ever and ever and it's just yum broccoli is a good good thing um I love frocks I love dresses, I love skirts, I love tops, but I love my frocks. I love dressing up and feeling like a little girl and swishing around in my big skirts and, and you know, trying to get that, that uh, wiggle walk down when I'm wearing my wiggle skirts and things like that. I, I, I try to become the dress that I wear and that 
because they've got all of mine have a personality of their own and and I just love dresses I love dressing up I love I love that your 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 attire can can represent you and can show you off and and show who you are I guess yeah I love new crushes at the moment um that that moment in time where you you meet somebody new and and you you feel like you've known them forever and and they make you smile and 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 you just you just want to be around them and you want to get to know them and it's that that romantic little phase where you don't know and you can't see anything bad about the person and and you just you know how it is with new crushes that's it's just a good feeling it's a really good feeling to have um, I love the tote which is for those of you not from here it's a live music venue down here in Melbourne um, you know punk pub rock pub it's filthy it's just magnificent and I love it and, uh, and a lot of Australia's biggest bands had their start there and even some of some of international bands have, have had their first beginnings in Australia in that venue and if ever you get the chance to come to Melbourne for those of you who haven't or of those of you in Melbourne who haven't been there go and check out the tote it's it's a special place um, there's actually a documentary made about the closing of it and everything uh, last year um, called persecution blues which you should also get get a hold of and that that'll give you an idea of how special that place is to a lot of a lot of people um, people I love people I hate people and I love people I love meeting really amazing new people and and um, I love watching people I love sitting in the park or on the street and just watching people go by and watch how they interact with each other and, and everything but but meeting new people is definitely something that I enjoy a big time I love it I love meeting new people making new friends and extending my family I suppose it's a great great thing to have and it's a good quality to have is in, in yourself is to be surrounded by lots of amazing good people I think and uh, I guess the last thing that I love is love everybody loves to be loved and wants to love and and you know whether that be your friends or your family or your partner or, or your dog or, or your cat or your horse or your pigs or your anything anything that your books or your records or your dresses or your 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 bed or anything like just just being able to love something and to be consumed by that love is awesome so I think I've rambled on long enough it's time for me to go but I hope you all have a wonderful evening and I will be back in another couple of days to do whatever the next part of this is bye